This documentary is funded by the Star Ghana Foundation with support from Media General. Mata Nso Seidu became pregnant in 2022 while in her second year at the Kalande Presby Junior High School in the East Gonja municipality of the Savannah region. According to her, her teachers asked her to stop attending school due to the pregnancy. TV3 mission team caught up with Mata Nso as part of the team's media advocacy on girl child education in the East Gonja municipality. I was informed too when I got pregnant. My teachers asked me not to come to school again because of the pregnancy and it's been three months. I'm waiting for the school to recall me. She told me her teachers asked her not to come to school because of the pregnancy until she delivers. I won't abort the pregnancy. She will carry it till she delivers. Following TV3's broadcast of Martin Sos challenge, she was recalled to school and attended classes until she delivered. In 2023, Martin So rejoined her colleagues in school and was registered as a candidate to sit for the 2023 Basic Education Certificate Examination, BECE. Upon completion, she was placed at Mpaha Day Senior High School in the Central Gonja District of the Savannah region, but eventually enrolled in the Salaga Senior high school because of her child. She was admitted as a day student to pursue general arts. Being a day student comes with a host of challenges. Martin so commutes from Kalande to Salaga, a three-kilometer journey or trek to school daily. <laughs> She walks to school and sometimes gets lift from her colleagues. It's difficult because of the distance, so she's unable to come home on time to breastfeed the baby. She narrated the situation is stressful. Life has been difficult for me. The time I was pregnant, it's, it has been difficult for me to go to school. And the time I delivered is still the same. And now I thank God I have gone to senior high school. For Martin so her dream of becoming a lawyer inspired her to return to the classroom. I'm happy I'm back to school. In the future, I want to be a lawyer. The 1992 Constitution guarantees the right to free, compulsory, universal basic education for every Ghanaian child. Though Ghana continues to demonstrate its commitment to this, there still remain challenges with school dropouts, which continue to slow the progress. According to a Ministry of Health report, 555,575 teenage pregnancies were recorded between 2016 and 2020, with 109,865 teenage pregnancies in 2020 alone. There are over 102,000 school girls dropping out of school with up to 30% attributed to teenage pregnancy. We want us to see the picture in our municipality from 2021. The total number of pregnant women we saw that year was 4,145. Those who were pregnant as at the age, between the age of 10 to 14 years, were 11. When well, we move to those who fell between the ages of 15 to 19, we have 505 of them being pregnant. In 2022, the total registrants we have is 4,260. Those that fall between the ages of 10 to 14 years were 17. 
then when we look at the ages of um, 15 to 19, we have 530. To 2023, we registered a total number of 3,952 pregnant women in East Gonja. Between the ages of 10 to 14 years, we have 22 of them becoming pregnant. Then from 15 to 19 years, we have 474 becoming pregnant. The stigma associated with pregnancy and childbirth is one challenge of the re-entry policy of the Ghana Education Service. For Martin So and her friend Fataya, mockery and stigma associated with teenage pregnancy should not be a barrier to pursue one's dream. So I encourage my fellow girls, whether in primary, junior high school or SHS, who have given birth to get back to school. They should not be discouraged because their fellow will make fun of them. Oh, Manta so is my friend. I know she has a child. And I think it's normal to still move with her. Sometimes, most of our colleagues call her born one. But I always encourage her to be happy and not to mind them. So we are happy. Since returning to school, Marta Enso has won the admiration of not only her colleagues, but also her teachers. Marta Enso is one of my students in this class. She was admitted into this school last December. And she has been one of the promising students of the school, especially this class. But she's always active and contributes in class. Somewhere along the line, I got to know that She's one of my students who, who have children in the class. But she has not allowed that to weigh her down. Because she tries her best and always aspires to achieve her dream. She has always told me that she wants to be a lawyer. And sometimes when I get to know that the colleagues ridicule her, I advise them and encourage her and other students who equally have children and are in school or are away to come back to school to pursue their dreams that their dreams are not cut short. So she is a promising child. And I'm very happy that uh, together with the students in this class, we are very happy that she has come back to pursue her dreams. She has not allowed the pregnancy and the childbearing to cut short her dreams. Data from the East Gonja Municipal Health Directorate between 2021 to 2023 revealed that more than 2,000 teenage girls from basic four to basic nine became pregnant. Unfortunately, checks from the East Gonja Municipal Education Directorate revealed that less than 10% of them returned to school. The East Gonja Municipal Girl Child Education Coordinator of the Ghana Education Service, Wei Chang Amanda, is excited about Martin So's re entry to school. It's a good uh, step she has taken by going back to school, continuing her education. Because many of the girls who have not gotten the opportunity of going back to school due to family pressure or peer pressure, some of them too, they prefer to work to earn money to take care of the new child and to take care of themselves. So we only have few of them going back to school. And those who have had the opportunity and have agreed to go back, we encourage them and make follow-ups once in a while, wherever they are, to encourage and motivate them to keep going. She taxed stakeholders in the municipalities to prioritize girl-child education. Well, the re-entry policy aims at uh, taking measures to prevent pregnancy among the teenage girls. So I encourage or I request parents or all stakeholders to look at this policy at the beginning the measures we can take together to prevent the gay child from becoming first pregnant before now becoming a mother, giving birth, and encouraging them to go to school. For instance, the community or the parents have a role here to play. In Salaga particularly, they have an issue that is going on that for me, per se, I'm not so happy about. When the gay child needs support, her basic needs, to move on in life, they are not there for her. But when she becomes pregnant and is put to bed, the kind of uh, 
naming ceremony they organized for them, very executive ones. Families, friends at that time come together and throw a huge party naming ceremony for these girls. So what are you encouraging them? You cannot support them when they needed you, but when they put to bed, you now come and encourage them. Access to quality education and lifelong learning for all is one of the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals achievable by 2030. Now, more efforts will have to be put in place by all stakeholders in the municipality to ensure that issues surrounding girl-child education, especially regarding teenage pregnancy, is addressed holistically. Until then, the education of these teenage girls will continue to hang in a balance. Christopher Mwako, TV3 News, Salaga. <laughs> This documentary is funded by the Star Ghana Foundation with support from Media General.